Hi everyone, I decided to do a sort of semi-educational video on my praying mantis. This is Boo. He's a giant Asian praying mantis, which doesn't necessarily mean China. It can be from anywhere in the Asian uh, region. Um, I'm going to go into it a bit with you. Um, he's currently sub-adult. As you can see, he's got wing buds there just before his backside or abdomen and they're quite swollen so I think he's due his adult molt soon but which will be his final molt and he will double in size these really are the little Houdinis of the insect world because the way they molt the next time they come out with their tiny skins they're massive he's looking right at us so it looks like those pupils that you can see are actually pseudo pupils it's actually a reflection their eyes are compound eyes like most insects and when the light hits a certain way, it looks like they've got little eyeballs, which they actually haven't. Um, so it looks like he's looking at us, but he's, he technically is, but he's not, if you know what I mean. He has three eyes, three sets of eyes. The other one isn't right in the middle of the forehead, but you won't actually see it. It's not like a proper eyeball. And he's going to clean himself. Oh, that's so cool. Um, there's ears are not on their head, they're just under their abdomen, I'm not going to try and move him right now because he's cleaning his foot. The front feet are called raptors, and as you can see they can fold right up. There's also a very wicked hook, as you can see, and then he has very small sharp hairs on the inside of the front leg, or raptor. When he catches his prey, he'll catch them in the hooked part, and literally he will snap that shut like a bulldog clip or a saw that can fold up and the animal is caught it's not going anywhere and you can actually see his mandibles here so that's really cool and you can see the pseudo pupils so that's basically how they eat and they drink and they will sit for hours and hours waiting for their prey to come along and they will capture them and as I say that once they're in those Raptors at the front, there's no escape him. As you can see, it's like a hinged, almost like a shark's mouth in a way, because they've got serrated parts to it and that very wicked hook. And they can do some damage to humans. I've seen other prey mantis enthusiasts saying that their mantis laid into their hands with their raptors, especially these larger species, which... Um, when they get bigger, he's going to be a lot bigger than this, he's going to be double this size. You know, they can do damage if they want to, if they mistake your hand for prey. But you can see he's a very patient little guy. When he gets his wings, um, it might be a bit more difficult to handle him because obviously he's going to want to flap his wings around whether or not he'll take off. My last male peacock did fly once. It scared the life out of me. Landed on the curtain, luckily the window wasn't open. Oh, Boo, you're posing so beautifully there. But yeah, as you can see, those are his wing buds there. Very swollen, so I think he is due a mold. I've adapted his viv because it will be his final mold, and I don't want any issues with it. So he's only really got a twig and some leaves in there at the moment. We've taken the two large orchid plants out. They're only fake ones. And the two pieces of stick-on um, plants that I had just to open it up so if he decides to molt he's got the full use of the viv and I'm hoping that it will be okay for him but yeah so that's a mantis I find them quite adorable um, I've had stick insects which I've bred and sold in the past they're the vegetarians of the mantis world in case you're interested um, and you don't you want a pet that's small, different, and not a meat eater. You could go for a stick insect. They're the vegan option. Um, but then you must need to have vegetarian options like privet hedge or ivy for them to eat. So as long as you've got that in your garden or in your area, which is not near to a road, a stick insect could be for you. But if you don't mind feeding insects live... And a mantis is an amazing pet. 
doesn't need a lot of care. Some do, might. Some of the smaller species may need more heat or less moisture or more moisture, which is just a daily spray bottle, basically. Um, but this little dove can live at happily at room temperature and can drop to a minimum of 17 degrees at night, which it has been last few nights because it's been very cold, but we do have a radiator. And I do my best to keep him... Um, hydrated and not too hydrated during the day and that's my phone you can hear going off downstairs yeah. sorry about that anyway I'm gonna put him back because he I don't want to get him too cold and he's just dying up coming up the camera again he did that just now which is why I have to restart this video but there you go this little dude is going to go back in his viv and he'll probably get another locust tonight although he's quite fat at the moment so I might leave him tonight yeah I can see a boo those eyes on the front there they really make me think he's looking at me but I know they're not he is and he isn't basically he's looking all around him right now but the pupils those pseudo pupils wow just make you look think he's looking right at you He's such a goof bug. He's gonna come up. He's gonna grab the camera now. You gonna grab? You gonna grab the camera? He's gonna start blurring now. Out of focus. He's getting ready. He's thinking about. He keep every time I get the camera out, he tries to grab it. Anyway, this has been a bit of a long video, but I'm hoping it's uh, helped a few people understand. If any of my friends who are teachers want to show this to kids pupils just to give an idea i mean it's not overly scientific it's just explaining a few little things about them then you're welcome to do so bye